and welcome back for another week of Photoshop 101. This episode I'm going to go through a few of the brushes and other tools that you can use for everyday fixes in general photos without going to anything whiz bang fancy just to fix a few annoying things that happen. Um, you may or may not notice on this photo here that there is quite a few sensor spots which uh, is very very annoying and you, you tend to get when your sensor gets a bit dirty and you can clean some of them up in Lightroom but I've actually found that it's quite often much much easier to do it in Photoshop so there's a couple of different tools that we can use we can go to this little band-aid here and we can use our spot healing tool if we want so we can click on that and just hover over what size uh, roughly where the spot is and you can increase your size of your brush so it, it is essentially a brush that you're using so you can change the size of it the hardness um, and then you've got various different um, you can replace you can use different modes just stick to normal and make sure that content aware is selected so that it will select from an area around where you have clicked and all you do is just one click and it will pretty much cover the spot that you've got. Now sometimes it doesn't always do the perfect job um, that one here is still there so we can look at perhaps going for something else um, we have other tools in our arsenal the patch tool is another one that we can use so you click to hold it and you just go around here select it and then drag it to an area where you would like it to put and it will swap it over now you do have to go and deselect that area before you can go do anything else to your image um, something else that you can use which is your clone tool now if you go into here you just want to use the clone stamp tool now you've got that selected same again you can change the size of it and the hardness so how how blurry the edges are and you want it to be quite blurry so that it'll blend in with everything around it um, you need to make sure that this is set to current layer and you what you do is using the alt key or an option key I think it is if you're on a Mac and select an area that you would like to choose from and then you paint over the area that you want to blur out so alt to select and then you just paint over now you do need to be a little careful with this because if you for instance grab a little too far down here and you drag up you could be dragging tree through there and you don't want to do that so you do need to be a bit careful where you're grabbing from so just make sure it's in the area adjacent to where you want to grab it from and then you can clear that out now that's just a handy little way that you can get rid of a few little sensor spots as you can see there's still a lot to go on that image but I won't bore you with that uh, let's go to another image and we'll see what we can do on this one now there's a few things that need to be fixed in this photo but one of the major ones is this line running through here it's a bit of wire Now we can get rid of that quite easily so you select an area just above it with the clone tool and come down and we're just going to go through and just gently erase that and we'll work right the way up come back on the other side And you can get rid of that now if we just go in a bit closer 
so we can see what's going on. We'll just bring that up. Now, it hasn't done the world's greatest job when it comes to around here because we've sort of got feathers and we've got grass and it doesn't quite know what it's doing. So what we're going to do is make our brush a bit smaller clone here and we're going to clone the wire just off his breast area here just taking a little bit at a time and as you can see it's a little bit fiddly and can be a little bit messy this is where some of the other tools can come in handy so for instance the patch tool you can grab that and because it's content aware it'll roughly try and match everything that's there same again we'll just grab that and bring it down and it's doing a pretty good job just try not to take too big an area when you're using this particular tool because if you take too big an area it really is quite difficult for it to to try and render same again here and you can for instance I've, I've sort of selected a little bit of feather so that it's trying to match the feathers in through there and same again in here we'll click that and we'll drag it up to another sort of feathery area so it'll try and sort of match that in and then just deselect it and go back out and he's not looking too bad there's a few little areas we could still patch up on him um, quite frankly we could play around with him all day but he does look a heck of a lot better than he did before and that's with the patch tool. Um, you can go in and there's various other bits and pieces using the spot healing tool. There's something a little bit annoying over in this corner over here. Um, you could either crop it out or you could come in and you could just mark it out and it'll just Photoshop just decides it'll pick something and match it in. And that's the beauty of having the, the content tool selected. Um, and of course you can come in and do a bit more you can use the crop tool if you want to now you can pick a ratio if you want to so for instance if you want to do a 5 by 7 so you would with normal photo you can drop this down a little bit and it'll keep that ratio that whole way through and you just click the tick and that just crops it all for you now you can if you want to now I've actually saved that with the rest of the images still there. If you click delete crop pixels once you've hit the tick they'll disappear you'll never get them back again. So if you're not sure if you want to permanently crop it just leave that unchecked. And oops I've chopped off a bit of the bottom but you get the idea something else you can do with the various brushes in this is getting rid of some stuff out of photos that you don't necessarily want so I've got all this mess through here that I really don't want now I could I could crop it and I will to start with so I'm going to select my crop tool and I'm actually going to do it square so I'm just going to do one to one which is that one and it's pretty much selected it and it's cropped most most of the stuff out but not all of it so and we're just going to hit tick now we've still got some messy stuff down here that we want to get rid of so we can go for the clone stamp 
and we can select an area up here we can just go through and it's quite easy because it's all black so that's easy enough to do it and then we've got all this to get rid of as well but again because it's just black on black it's just as easy so just select an area here you can actually go quite big and we're just going to clone that out and that was quite easy to get rid of all that now when you come to people there's a few different bits and pieces you can do as well so I'm going to go to the healing brush again and this is Rochelle and absolutely gorgeous but um, she is human and occasionally you get a few little spots that you want to get rid of just click on them and just heal so when it comes to people's faces and you want to clean up a few little bits and pieces whether there's a few spots maybe they'd like to have a mole removed maybe there's some pimples or something like that that you want to get rid of you can just use the the healing brush and you can fix up just touching over where you need it to be cleaned up and it will do that so if there's any sort of blemishes or marks or whatever that you want to you want to clean up you can do it that way if there's a stray hair that can be as long as it's not over the eye um, that's usually fairly easy to clean up if it is over the eye that's a whole nother lesson and um, we'll get into that a bit later but um, so there's just little spots that you can come in and clean up so you can use uh, the content aware tool so that's it for this episode on using the various healing and patch tools and the clone stamp tool. Um, if you come back for next episode, I'm going to show you how to add some texture and we're going to get into some of the various blend layers and some layer masking. So we just take it nice and easy. So come back for the next episode and we'll go through all that and... Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. Bye for now.